Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at arithmetic in Java. So we're gradually beginning to get towards writing something that really looks like a computer program and might actually be useful. Uh, so let's, let's delete this. This is a copy of the program I was working on in the last video. And um, we, we've got, um, in arithmetic, obviously we've got well, four operators that are very commonly used. We've got, uh, we've got plus, plus operator. These are called binary operators because they work on two values together. You know, like three plus four, there's two values. So it's a binary operator. And the general name for these things is they're called operators. We've also got divide. And in Java, the symbol for divide is a slash like that. You have to get the right kind of slash. If you're going from left to right, it's, you'd have to go up, up a hill. If you, you imagine sort of, I'm gesturing with my fingers, which of course you can't see, but it's like a hill sloping upwards from left to right. Um, we've also got um, multiply, and in Java that's an asterisk. And in fact, these conventions are common in very many uh, programming languages. And we have uh, subtract, subtract, which is the normal sign you'd expect. It's a short dash like that. Let's try these out a little bit. So um, we'll have some variables. Um, in fact, uh, you can just use sysouts. Maybe we should also just do that to start with. And then we'll take a bit more of an extended look at this in the next video, I think. So if I write um, system.out.print line seven plus three, we expect to see 10. And of course we do see 10. There we go. We'll try some, try some other things. We'll try all of them. Um, so uh, if we try nine divided by three, we should see three. So we try this. So we say, it says three. Um, here's a surprise. Uh, if we do, let's say, 10 divided by three, we run this, we still get three. Why is that? Well, if you divide um, one integer by another integer, the remainder will be discarded. So you won't, you won't get back a um, floating point value, you'll still get back an integer value. So for example, five divided by two would be two because we're just dis discarding the remainder of one. Um, if you divide an integer by an integer, then the result will also be an integer. But you can use floating point values. So if I divide 10.0 by, let's say, well, let's say 3.0, then we'll get the answer that you might expect, 3.333 recurring. So you can see that with floating point values, it works. And it, you get a floating point answer, even if only one of your values is floating point. So for example, if we divide, let's say, um, let's try dividing nine by uh, four point naught. Let's try that. So if we do that, we should get, yeah, we get 2.25, two and a quarter. Um, so that, that works because one of the values is floating point. One floating point value gives floating point result. Now what I've just done, what I'm actually doing here, which actually I should have mentioned, and I think I've maybe touched on it briefly, uh, I have, but um, if you write two forward slashes like this, everything else that you write on that line is a comment. Um, it's, it's very useful to write comments in your code, uh, but it, it's, it's better to use them to describe um, kind of what, you, what you're intending to do overall or what you've done overall. There's not much point putting a comment saying output uh, 10 divided by 3 uh, because you, you should learn 
that you should learn that you should learn to understand that just from seeing this code and also if you write a comment and then you change the code and you don't change the comment you can seriously mislead yourself so comments are important but generally better saved for blocks of code where otherwise it wouldn't be clear what the intention of it is for that sort of thing we'll take another look at this at this uh, in a in a video shortly actually okay let's let's carry on with this so if I write sys out, um, uh, let's try. So we've got we've got plus, we've got divide, and um, let's try multiply. So three times four, uh, we expect that to be twelve. There we go, it works. And of course, subtraction. Uh, so let's let's do three minus four um, because that should give us minus one. And if we actually run this, we see that indeed we get minus one. So try all of those out for yourself and put some comments in as well, just to kind of describe what you're doing. Although they may, may be a bit overly precise, unnecessary at the moment, it's good to get into the habit of using comments a little bit. Try them all out and don't forget to try int integer division like this one and uh, assure yourself that it doesn't, it discards the remainder it doesn't work quite as you might otherwise expect. Okay, and try floating point division as well. You can try all of these with floating point and integers if you can be bothered. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.